What's a potential hidden danger that fleas pose for your pet that can happen on the inside? Dr. Langlois explains in his latest Pet Health Tip of the Day. Hello again, everybody. This is Dr. Langlois of the Pet Pantry of Lancaster County coming to you with your pet's health tip of the day. And uh, as we get into the colder months, a lot of people start to wonder, well, do I really need to continue that flea and tick prevention? And uh, really, the answer is yes. And that's actually not the topic of... Uh, this pet health tip, but uh, it does kind of tie in in a weird way because one of the things we do worry about obviously year-round are those fleas causing various problems especially such as biting, itching, and of course that wonderful flea allergy dermatitis. But did you know there's another more hidden, more sinister thing that fleas can give our furry friends? You didn't? Well, something you should always ask your vet about because if you happen to find fleas on your pets one thing that they can transmit is the dreaded tapeworm that's right fleas are usually the conduit for your animals ingesting tapeworm eggs and that is be just uh, through the life cycle of the tapeworm parasite itself uh, get sucked up into the flea. The flea actually, it's not through the biting of the flea, it's actually through the animal swallowing the flea when it's grooming it on its coat. Um, and then of course you get those wonderful, uh, you know, tapeworm side effects and all of that stuff. How might you know if your animal has tapeworms or not? Well, as you can see by this video right here, normally what you're going to see are these cute little tiny rice-like moving segments either on their poop itself or coming right out around their butt. Uh, as you can see on this wonderful feline specimen here that came through a feral clinic recently. So it's always important to remember that if you do spot fleas on your pet, and especially if it's been there for a while, you do want to talk to your vet about potentially picking up some worming medication to take care of tapeworms. Uh, it's something that not everybody knows and sometimes a little bit forgotten because uh, we do focus on all the external things that uh, tapeworms or fleas rather can cause, uh, but we don't worry so much about the internal stuff. Uh, such as tapeworms. So remember that. Make sure that you talk to your vet about getting your pet properly wormed for tapes if you do happen to have a pet that's covered with fleas. And that is your external, internal, kill them both, pet health tip of the day. For more information and to potentially have your pet checked for both fleas and tapeworms, be sure to make an appointment with your local veterinarian today.